hi guys welcome back to my channel today i'll be talking to you about the hardware and closures used in bag making hardware and closures play an integral role in bag making they can be used for decoration to increase the quality and overall appearance of a piece as well as for holding all the parts of a bag together snap or lobster hooks are used to attach shoulder or wrist straps this is an example of a lobster hook okay, this here and this is what it looks like when attached to a wrist strap so you have a wrist strap here and this is what it looks like connected to a wrist strap and then you can attach it to your wristlet like so it's connected there and here you have your wristlet and strap attached so you can put it on your hand on your wrist to free up your hand while so you can do something else or whatever so this is a bat a little wristlet with a wrist strap attached here you go Here's another example of a lobster hook or snap hook. This is a larger size, kind of a bronze in color, whatever that color is. So there you are. And this is for a larger strap to connect to a larger bag. Here are two examples of a slider. Sliders are necessary for adjustable shoulder straps. So have two sizes here, they come in different sizes. So you have a small one and a large one. And here's an example of an adjustable strap with a slider in place. So this is used to adjust the strap. So you can make it longer or shorter, however you like. So here you have a strap, you put a slider on it. And snap hooks to connect to a bag. Here you have a D-ring. These are strap anchors and are used to connect removable strap to a bag. So this is the D-ring, this will be connected to the bag. And then you will take the strap and connect it to the D-ring. So this is how these two would work. This is a metal frame. This can be used in a small wallet and this would be the opening at the top of the wallet. These types of frames are mostly used on vintage style bags such as coin purses and evening bags. These are eyelets. These are used for decorative purposes on a bag. They create holes also for drawstring closures. Grommets are the larger ones and these are used as strap anchors. Magnetic snaps add a nice touch to a finished bag. Here you have an example of a magnetic snap. There are also plastic snaps, and the plastic snaps come in various colors and are great for small wallets and pouches. Any difference between a magnetic snap and a plastic snap? The snap, the magnetics are made of metal and the plastic are made of plastic. The plastic snaps are made of plastic. So these are some magnetic snaps and here you have a wallet, a 
the magnetic snap in place as a closure. That's the bottom part of the snap, the receiving part, and this is the top, as you can see here. Let's put these two together, and voila, you have a beautiful wallet and with a nice closure. Here you have hook and loop tape or Velcro. These are perfect for men's wallets for a more masculine appearance. Next we have zippers. You have a metal zipper. This is a gold. You can get silver. These are plastic zippers, they come in different colors and sizes. And this is similar, this is a plastic zipper that, with a metal pull that is similar to the metal zipper. The teeth is similar to the metal zipper, this is a molten plastic zipper teeth. See? So the metal and the plastic, these are two similar, these are great for bag making. The metal zipper gives your bag a more professional look and finish. These are suitable for most bag types and are most and they are the most common closures to use in bag making. Here's an example of a wallet with a zipper closure. See here they have a metal zipper closure. And here's another wallet with a zipper pocket on the inside. Top lock and twist locks. This is an example of a top lock. I will insert a, an image of a, for an example of a twist lock. Buckles. These are great for backpacks. Bag feet. These prevent the bag from becoming dirty or damaged. Screws. Screws may be used instead of stitches to hold the bag together. 